Hey, yes. hey, hey. Oh, oh wow. wow. First, second, so for smart the clock thinking. 18. 18. 18. 18. <laughs> 18th generation. Okay. What's up, everybody? We are live. I'll be right back. Let me get my phone. <laughs> We're live. Bye. I'll be live and then leave. Right. You're here. You got my back. I'm leaving. In that case, it's the Malik takeover. <laughs> Brr, 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 brr. D roll with his left, okay, so. Okay, everybody, you can either hang out with Super J for Club His Hop, um, His Hop Radio Show, or you can go to Club His Hop page on Facebook, or you can. <laughs> So or you can download the app and please do that anyway. Download the His Hop Radio app and you can hear us on the radio as well. Wait, wait, down, down. I'm gonna do that. Wait, they're no, tripping. They're taking. They're stealing my fun. Wait, we're gonna come back. Give me that. Well, we're not live on the radio yet, so we're good. They're stealing my thunder. <laughs> we are. Good. They're not even supposed to know we're here yet. <laughs> they don't know we're here. Yes, they give you showing all of this stuff. They don't know who's here. But we're live. No, we're not live on the radio yet, so I'm live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to take your phone. He's like, I'm right. He's like, about to turn like, this to the Super J show. Why my wife ain't working? <laughs> Forget everybody else. This is Super like, J. <laughs> Forget the radio station. This is me, myself, and I. <laughs> I'm live. That's all that counts. <laughs> That's funny. Elises. So, but you're live online, though, right? Yeah, we're we're live in the video, but not in the. Hi everybody. Because they're going to see who's here anyway on the video, so. Mm -hmm. No, I'm invisible. Well, they were trying to show. They're trying to uh, push product. <laughs> product placement. I got you. I got you. That product is placement. Cool. All right, I'm about to go live on Instagram for Mr. Theo. Theo the Thespian. And Rod Redeem. Rod Redeem is on. Well, he he likes to catch the. The Instagram. Product placement. Don't do, ask Rod Redeem if anybody's ever told him he looks like Rakim. Oh, he does. <laughs> he does. I was like staring at him, like, who does he look like? <laughs> Only my favorite <laughs> old school rapper, Rakim. <laughs> he's actually he's gonna be on next week. He's our next week. He's he's next. Oh, he's gonna be on the radio. Though. I mean, on the call. Yeah, we won't. We won't. Rod Redeem out of St. Louis. St. Louis. Looks like Rakim. Uh oh. That's his cousin. That's he could. That's could in them. Could in them. Could in them. So are you happy to be in Las Vegas? Yes, Did I you love come it. for Stellars or why did you guys, yes. you guys came here for Stellars? Came for Stellars. Okay. We went out to the mountain, shot a music video while we were here. Um, currency is about okay. to be out hopefully in the next couple weeks. Because you were doing the video here, right? Yep. It's, it's real. It's real nice. I All like right, it. it's time to go live. I should come on and hang out with us a little bit more often. Oh. You know, Vegas is the place to be. Probably my next, my, my, my second home from home. Yeah, I'm, that's that's good. Yeah. It's Vegas just a vacation spot for me. Yeah, I mean, but Vegas is all that. I just I came here on a fluke, a just whim. It was a spontaneous move, and um, <coughs> I decided I was not leaving. <laughs> Test one two one two. All right. Actually, two years and five months. Wow. What's this month? Oh, four months. It's not quite eight years now. So. All right, we're going live. We're going live. Quiet in the room. All right, quiet in the room, please. Going live in three seconds. Three, two, one. Hey, you're tuned in to Above All I Show. Giving the scoop and the latest on how the story goes. Broadcasting from Vegas in case you didn't know. Worldwide Great Commission, that's the gospel. Discussing topics of standard is righteous living. Bumping them bangers and interviewing different Christians. Who's hot? Who's not? Does it really matter? 
is his hop non-stop focus on the ladder stay tuned to the dial and turn that volume up this faith radio jesus is who we living up so in your ears we gonna be here for a minute it's my bro d bro he about to go with it hey hey what's going on what's going on it is monday night and you know how we do this is Monday night with the His Hop crew. We thank you for tuning in tonight. And you know what? We had a busy week. Busy week. Now I had a chance to catch my breath. I had to take the day off of work so I can get ready to be with you beautiful people tonight. And I want to remind y'all to tune in. Actually, download our His Hop radio app. That's H-I-S-H-O-P. In your app store, we are on every device that you can think of. And if you have a new device, we'll be on that device pretty soon. So download the His Hop Radio app. And we are also streaming live on HisHopNation.com. That is our website. So check out our website, HisHopNation.com. Go there, download our stuff. And I also want to let you know on our app, we have a community join the chat room we want our listeners to connect with each other we want our artists to use that platform to get connected with the listeners they might have something to say about your song so join the community so that you can con- connect with the people and and leave your comments and let them know how to further connect with you and so after this exciting week my girl super j is still hanging with me She's got her boots on. She's got her Holy Ghost tennis shoes, all that good stuff. So I'm going to bring my co-host online with us. Super J is in the house. (laughs) Hey, everybody. It's Super J here. And yes, what an amazing and fantastic weekend. Actually, week it has been. Uh, Before we get into too much, I want to give a shout out to the right Reverend (laughs) Rufus, Rufus. Reverend Rufus, Rufus, a.k.a. Larry Rogers, is here with the the gold (laughs) toothus. He is on with us tonight. Tell him to call in later. So so we would like you to call in later at 702-879-4082. That way, Reverend Rufus might be able to send some blessings to the community out there. (laughs) But anyway, we are just coming off of Stellar Week, and we have had so many uh, activities and so many events that were hosted here at Club His Hop this week. And we are, what you would say, somewhat exhausted, but we are running on the supernatural uh, energy that God God can only (laughs) give. Amen to that. <laughs> For real. So tonight, I'm really, really excited because we do have some guests. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have some guests. Man, there's an echo in the house. <laughs> I'm right, hearing my myself bad. talk. That's the engineer. The engineer is messing up. <laughs> oh, that'd be me. <laughs> okay. Um, we, <laughs> DJ D Road. We are coming off of this week, and we have some special guests in studio tonight who came originally for the Stellars, but also had a couple of other activities. They did some video shoots, and then they've decided to come and visit with us. So tonight, I am proud to say that we have Malik and James Dubai in studio with us of Treble Makers. (laughs) Treble Makers. Incorporated. All right. I like it. I like it. And so, James Dubai, he is actually the new track artist of the week. And we're going to play his song in a minute. But you know, Super J, we got to start giving props to the artists who actually make it into rotation. Absolutely. So, we're going to give props to my boy, Young C. His song. Ah, Young C got in. I want to give him praise. Has made it permanently into the his hot radio rotation he had enough votes to make it in he was pushing it hard so we want to give you mad love he is the artist from last week and he made it in and this week this week's artist is james dubai his song is called do i have the right song currency Currency, okay. From the DMV. From the James D- Dubai. DMV. <laughs> East Coast. East Coast. In the building, the building. okay. James so, Dubai. Let's make sure we get this right. 
Now, Young C, you know, what was funny about Young C's song, you know, his name, Young C, is, I guess, a popular name or something like that because there's another rapper named Young C, and he happened to, uh, his picture was coming up, and I want to say that this guy is not really uh, a Christian artist, mm -hmm. so Young C was hitting me up, he's like, Hey man, can you uh, change the picture on there? Can you, uh, you know, do this or do that? And I'm like, oh my bad, man. The the station did that automatically. So I do want to apologize to everyone who saw that picture. That is not the real Young C of Alex. his hot radio. That was Young C from somewhere else. So I just <laughs> wanted to throw that out because they had a uh, half dressed women on that picture. <laughs> oh shucks. So I just wanted to show some love. So, so anyway, isn't it ironic that when Young C was here, though, uh, Bishop Tupac, or when he was listening for the first time, <laughs> oh, Bishop yeah, Tupac, Tupac got a little bit special. So he's getting all kinds of <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's the like, luck. Man, what's going on with his uh, radio? <laughs> okay, so pictures. without any further delay, we want to introduce our new track artist of the week, my man Dubai with the song Currency. Uh, if you don't know, this is how it works. You have to vote for the song when it plays on the app. Give it a five-star rating. Or you can go to our Facebook page, Club His Hop, and when the song is played, hashtag hot or hashtag not. And with enough votes, you will be added to permanent rotation. So here we go, new track of the week. Here is here the is new track new of the track week. Of the track. Let us know if it's hot or if it's not. Hashtag hot or not on our Facebook page, His Hot Radio. The official radio station for Club His Hot Las Vegas. Here we go.
Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's my currency. So there you go, the new track of the week. And so without any further delay, let's bring my brother James Dubai online on his uh, <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Radio. What's that in? Not much, not much. Just kicking and, it out in Vegas. And also we got my man Malik in the house. What's in up, the brother? building. All right, all right. CEO of Troublemaker, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Okay, so James, man, what's up, brother? Not much. Just glad to be out here kicking it with his hop radio, you know. All right. <laughs> kicking it out here in Vegas. Is this your first time? Nah, this is actually my uh, second time. Uh, we came down for the Stellars last year. With, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, but... But this I, is your most live time. Of course. Because I'm <laughs> but this time was butter. This time was butter. All right, we'll... Uh, we got you locked in for new track of the week. And shout out to Young C. He's on Instagram. You made it in, brother. Good job on, on that. Uh, tell us about this song, Currency, man. What was the uh, inspiration for that track? Um, Well, basically, uh, me and my cousin, we were chilling in the studio. You know, I've been working for a little bit. You know, released a, a, my first single a couple years ago. And we were thinking, we were like, man, we all we do is music. And, you know, uh -huh. sometimes when all we do is music, it, it leaves us kind of lonely, you know? Like, we're a loner, like we're separated from the world. Oh, wow. But, okay. So we were like, okay, a loner, outcast. Uh -huh. you we're, were outcast. Not only that, but we as Christians sometimes feel uh -huh. like outcasts. Yeah, we you know? do. We do. Especially in the last days when... Um, when let's talk about in the last days in the Bible, where we're going to be outcasts, we're going to be running in the hills. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the the currency, the money that we're going to have to use, we can't use money in that. In the last days, we're going to have to use the audio, which is the hymns we've learned, the the wow. songs, the 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 verses that we learned mm -hmm. in church, in, in school, that's deep. whatever it is. So currency of the outcast, that's the whole basis of the album, and that came about to the. That's deep, the man. He's like, we're going to be living in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Not not being able to use that currency. And, man, you're 19 years old, right? Yes, sir. Man, yes, kicking sir. it like that, man. Yes. Knowing knowing what's, what's ahead. And, you know, when I got saved, I was in a Bible study where they were teaching the book of Revelation. So mm -hmm. the fact that we will be living in the hills and... The plagues that are going to come up on the earth. The water turning into blood. All that has something to do with me uh, receiving Christ when I was a teenager. So I'm, I'm actually uh, touched, man, that you actually brought that up, man. That's pretty good. Well, so. let me ask you this. I noticed in your bio that you mm -hmm. had mentioned that you really, really have what I'm, a, what I'm interpreting it as is a burden for your peer group, your age group specifically. Yeah, yeah. So many of them conforming to what's going on here. How do you, besides your music, present a light that can kind of stand in the midst of the darkness that they may find themselves in? I mean, really, honestly and truly, it starts with my life. Because mm -hmm. if, if you live by the word, your life will be that example. So when people look at you walking down the street, they'll be like, man, there's something different about him. The mm -hmm. way he walks, the mm -hmm. way he talks, that smile on his face. Uh, just, just when you're filled with God, you, you'll, you'll radiate, radiate light. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody around it will be able to see it. And be like, man, I want that. Mm -hmm. well, how, how do I get that? Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like nowadays, like youth, especially people my age or younger, or sometimes even older, uh, we, we go through a lot mm -hmm. because it's, it's we're over here trying to trying to become who we are, find mm -hmm. who we are, find our purpose, and, and I feel like that's where most of us can get lost. Uh, I feel like some of my friends who who I know grew up in church school with me mm -hmm. now sometimes they don't even go go to church anymore mm -hmm. from from like maybe the end of high school which is like maybe eighteen to like twenty five. We're, we're looking for our purpose. And Amen. sometimes we leave the church because we feel like, man, we grew up in a church, man. We, we heard this every single day, man. This isn't for me. It, it's not meaningful. Mm -hmm. So so that's why I've turned to music. Because oh, wow. that, that's a way of reaching my age group. Mm -hmm. Because you can pretty much go anywhere in the world 
And if you you play one song for them by a well-known artist, they'll know the tune. So they'll hum hum it along. It's a universal language. So that that's the way to the soul. Music is the way to the soul. Yeah. And that's how I'm I'm I want to go out and reach people and then bring them back into the church. Say like, yo, I know you you've lived in the church or you, you grew up in the church and you might not like it, but there's more to it than mm-hmm. just the service. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, Amen. Yeah. Okay. Well, at this time, we are going to take a quick social media break. So if you guys are streaming live and you got people trying to talk to you, now is the time to respond back. You know, social media is a part of our life nowadays. And so they are, it is a part of our show. So who's streaming? You streaming over there, Malik? Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to get on You're that. You're about Facebook. to, huh? I got you. I do. Yeah. You, you do got Super J. Should we get on Instagram? Uh, all of them. All of them at the same all time. Them at the same time. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm not on Instagram right now. I'm on Facebook, and because I'm not on the page, mm-hmm. I'm on my personal. Uh, I can't actually see who's on our page tonight, but who's rocking with me right now is the right Reverend Rufus with the gold t t t t fist <laughs> <They're real>. He's still <laughs> hanging out, huh? He's still <laughs> hanging with us. Cool. Yeah, he's hanging out with us. And there's a couple other people that I actually can't see. So say hello to me. If you guys are, if you're watching on my stream, say hello to me because some of you I can't see, but I can see that you're there. I just can't see who you are. So, I'd love to greet each and every one of you personally. I'd love to spend some time uh, saying hello. And because you're spending time with me, I appreciate that. And I'd really like to acknowledge you. So, please check in. With All right. Me. I got our social media page, the Club His Hop. We do have one us. Instagram, huh? Instagram is beating us tonight. I do have uh, one comment on there. Uh, Shireen Edwards Hey 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 oh, Proud from- of you fam What's up How you doing Miss Edwards Thank you for tuning in That's Shireen and from Baltimore Shanae Oh Shanae from Shanae. Baltimore Shanae. Yeah that's their They cousin in there <laughs> Oh that's cousin <laughs> that's, that's, that's my family. sister What's that's up the, What's the up author, the book That's author. my sister Okay alright And on in Instagram We have uh, What's up bro Gurus in the house We got Rob Redeem Watching us What's up Rob What's up Rob Redeem Rob said uh, Tell Super J It was good to meet her So he's Giving you a shout out I don't know <laughs> if you heard What she said uh, Earlier Rob She said that uh, You reminded her Of Rakim <laughs> And She wanted to know If you get that a lot So Hit us up Let us know If you've ever heard that before uh, Young C Music Is in the house What's up brother Hey, How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm still with you. The Rob is still with us. So what's happening? BMX, BMX, say something, brother. We see y'all. This is our social media what time. Up, what up? What's up? Say hey to If you guys want to call in what's a little up? later, give us a call. Oh, what's up, 702-879-4082. 702-879-4082 <laughs> is the call-in number. Now let me see if I can get my phone to stand up. I thought I saw Theo in there earlier. I, I don't see him. Theo that. the Thespian. That. I have made him famous, by the way. He is. Everybody made asks famous. about Theo the Thespian. Well, that name is. He's, wow, we got more. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> no, I just looked at the thing. Uh, more people are shouting this out. But what happened now? I'm just saying that I've made the name Theo the Thespian famous. And he's only given. So he's bad. only graced us one time in person. So he's like a ghost. Somebody give Theo the thespian a shout out and encourage him to show up here in the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think, uh, hey, hey Theo, you better come here and see. <laughs> I think Theo uh, yeah, interview. I think he said that he, he had to get in the bed. He is like night night. Wow. Something. Yeah. Yeah, he went night night. He said he, he had a rough in, day. And he lives in Vegas. This is this, the town that never sleeps. Mm. Right. Let me I tell gotta, you what. I got a couple more shout outs. Hold on there. Okay. D-Rose. We'll get back to Theo in a minute. But we, we're going to show Say people love. love. We're showing love us love, love right now. Loud mouth. I ain't saying nothing about loud mouth. <laughs> <laughs> loud mouth. What's up, loud mouth? <laughs> Shout out to loud mouth. Hey, loud mouth. It's Super J. What's up? <laughs> Smooches. Me and him, we beefing. We, we got to put out some diss records. <laughs> 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 Hashtag diss track. <laughs> some diss, diss records. 
<laughs> is there a such thing as Christian diss rap? Yes. Dis- oh, no, dis- oh, don't let me get on that. Yeah. I mean, do they they diss not? They don't diss each other. Oh, do you no, know no. Kayla, Kayla, is giving you a shout Kyla. out. Kyla, Kyla Simone, Kyla. Shout say, out to Kyla. Say hey, love Kyla, you, how love you, you guys. The song was awesome. Love it. Keep it up. Great job. We're gonna ask that question. <laughs> Enjoying the show, proud of you, little bro. Aww. Tell Aww, DJ Kyla, he getting some love. Tell DJ and James that Pastor Mike said, "What's up?" Going on, Pastor Mike from Frederick, okay, Maryland. Okay, Pastor Mike. Man, y'all showing mad love. Man, where 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 are these people from? Where 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 the they East Coast, from? baby? That's the East, East Coast. Coast. East Coast is in the house. So it's like eleven o'clock for yeah, them right now. That's yeah, love right there. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all better call. Y'all better call in since you stayed up late. Arthenius. Yeah, to <laughs> hey, Arthenius. Okay, well, at this time, we're going to go ahead and play another track. Get back to the music. What I have in queue is Where I Want to Be. Why don't you go ahead and set us up for this song, my brother? All right. Uh, so, Where I Want to Be. Um, it's basically uh, from my perspective as a youth. Uh, it is the end goal of where I want to be, of course, you know, living this life, going through all these struggle, struggles and trials and tribulations for what most people who are outside of the church and sometimes in the church, they're mm-hmm. like, oh, well, why, why do uh, people die? Why, why did <coughs> bad things happen to good people? Right. Because he's setting us up to help someone else and bring them to Christ. And then so we can all go to heaven. So where I want to be, I want to go to heaven. Right. Nice, nice. And uh, hopefully that's where we all want to be, in heaven. <laughs> Amen. All right, so you got James Dubai with Where I Want to Be Live here on His Hot Radio. Uh, uh, James Dubai, Chaz on the track. You already know what it is. They call me James Dubai Young, fresh, is saved And your boy stays fly Can't trust this age But I play it like I Got to make trouble Every day that I try And I keep making moves Like a dance crew Make you pull up your pants And lace up your shoes Put down your tools And pack down your weave This the kind of trap To make you succeed hey, And make plans for life She looking mighty cute But no plans for white right now Even though still I vow Not to go there, even if you allow, just know that your boy will stay in control. Pray for our souls and slow down our roll. Sitting beside someone that's heavenly, I'm telling you, that's where I wanna be. I got my eyes on the So I'm seeing it clear You mess with my mind and expose my fears Had my teachers rebuking this all my peers They had my career done before my feet hit the blocks Now I'm here in Vegas but my heat hits the blocks They said I'd never make it but here comes the shock Comparing me to Bach, now I'm leaving like Spock So beam me up Scotty I'm headed to a place, pure all white party Never apologizing cause my heat keeps rising No compromising, y'all keep despising Please stop the lying, you're killing your boy Always up in my face with your venom report Are you trying to be an enemy or villain no more? James Dubai, triple makers, yeah I'm killing the score Yeah, yeah, yeah
right, we are back. We are live. And that was This Is Where I Want to Be. Man, that track was... <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, man. God be praised. Appreciate yeah, Appreciate yeah, it. I like that, man. Nice, good message behind that. So at this time, I want to bring in your, your cousin, right? There's like a family connection family here. Family affair. Cousin <laughs> Malik oh, in, the, in the house. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? What's happening? Let's make sure we get you on. Uh, they can't oh, see you on camera. Oh, so. yeah. Lean yeah, in, tell lean the people in. There what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> so uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is your label, right? Yes, yes. Trouble Makers Inc. Uh, tell Trouble. us a little bit about your label, man. Let, um, let us know you're shaking, you're shaking and moving out there, right? Well, uh, for, the, for the last few years, we had another label called Rock the Truth. We had some artists on there. Shout out to Kyla Simone, She Flows, uh, Rush Shanks, uh, Chosen, a uh, whole bunch of people. Oh, nice. Uh, but over the last couple of years, I felt like God was taking me in a new direction of doing certain things. And growing up in the church, you know, sometimes we feel like, uh, I guess we walk around with these blinders on our eyes. Yeah. That we can do this and we can only do that. Uh -huh. I can't do this. I can't do that. And um, we was having a conversation with someone one day. And we were talking about secular. And I was like, okay, well, what's secular? I mean, all my life, uh -huh. I was, my mama would not allow me to bring secular music in the house. Like, it did not come past <laughs> this part of the Not in this house. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I realized after study, secular does not mean bad. Because my mom works a secular job. My wow. dad works a secular job. Yes. But what it is, it's oh, about wow. paying attention to the content of what it is that you're listening to and what you're watching. <laughs> so with that, I was like, okay, well, like you were saying earlier, James was talking about being in light. Yeah. The Bible yeah. talks about being in light. But the Bible also talks about being, being in salt. Yes. Salt is not useful if it is not put into something. Yes. <laughs> That's true. It is useless. That's true. If it is not put in something. That's so true. how can you be a salt to the world from a distance? So sometimes you have to get in something. It does not mean becoming it. Not you know, I'm not simply thinking about losing who you are in Christ. Uh huh. But you have to get in it to make a difference. We're in the world and out of the world. Bam. That's how you. That's what. That's why I finally realized about that. The verse. How you can be in the world but not of the world. You have to get in it to make a difference with some people. Yes. Some people, you can be a light in the distance. Uh -huh. Some people, they got to see that. They say, wait a second, okay, you're here with me, and, but you well, well, you, ain't, you ain't smoking. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't drinking. <laughs> I'm saying, hey, well, 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 what is the difference about you than, than me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I realized that, okay, we got, we got these quote-unquote secular. I hate using the word secular. Okay. But, 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 but just for, for argument's sake, we're going to... We got secular artists. artists. Non Christian artists. <laughs> not, not, I don't want to say that. Non Christian not, music. Not, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we have these these artists who are not gospel artists. Yeah. I'm saying. Okay. Who's going to reach out to them? Who's going to be, I mean, we have to, just like I have to build with you. I yeah. build with you. Yeah. I have to build with them. Yes. For them to be able, that's, that's how you can be a salt. So that's why we started Troublemaker, because it's not a. Gospel record label. It's just a record label. Oh, it's just a record label. Just a re okay. All the music that we do uh -huh. is still exactly the same. Uh -huh. We just don't say that it's gospel. Okay, okay. So people that they listen say to that it, it's treble. <laughs> <laughs> so so they, you listen to it and, and then they're vibing and they're like, Yo, I like this, I like this. Yeah. And then when when they, they feel like I figure out what you're talking about, they're like, wait a second. I thought uh, this is gospel music. No, it's, it's just music. Why do we have to say that it's gospel music? Hey, I'm all for it, man. Why not sucker punch him? You know what I mean? Why not? <laughs> the, the, when, when, when Jesus he was here, he didn't. He didn't say, "Hey." Yes. He didn't say, "I am the Son of Man." I am. I am God. So you need to listen to what I'm about to say. <laughs> We're not even just that. Somebody posted something on Facebook the other day, and I thought it was brilliant. He said, "Jesus spoke in parables. Mm -hmm. Why must gospel rappers be theologically sound?" Oh, wow. Mm. That's something that you got to think about. Snap. Jesus spoke in parables. He didn't come out and was like, verse 3 of John uh -huh. says, states, blah, 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 blah. No, he, he was like, okay, there was a fisherman. And blah, 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 bam. Just tell the story. That makes you go, hmm. Makes so, you think. So, so okay. why, why do we have to be so deep? I mean, I believe there's music that's supposed to edify the body. Yeah. But this, I believe that we as Christians, we do too much in-reach, not enough outreach. You see, the, the heart of the His Hot movement with our radio station, our, our club and everything that we do, we opened up the club 
to the community. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of churches they're they're saying, "Oh, this is just for our youth," or "This is this is just for our congregation." Uh, most of them are inward, but once you reach out, the heart of it is evangelism. You know, we got to go out and reach the community and bring them in to the kingdom. And yeah. so sometimes we have to talk their language. It's not that we have to. I don't believe in compromising. You know, don't compromise your conviction. Don't be like the world. You know, don't compromise your faith or anything. But you go out there and you you go to their level and say, hey, I can understand what you're going through because I've been there. And, and not judge them, not be self-righteous and judgmental. Uh, we talk about that all the time at Bible study. So I, I, I definitely I hear what you're saying. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah, we, uh, we talk about that a lot. But real quick, you said something real interesting before we started the radio show. We mentioned that this is the stellar weekend. Just about everybody else is back in their city. Mm -hmm. They're back, you know what I mean? <laughs> but y'all, y'all still in Vegas. Y'all still enjoying it. And y'all were able to come and actually kick it with us on our Monday night show. And you said that you're somewhat of a financial advisor. I mean, no, how no, were you I'm able not. to stay a what it was, extra was, day? I was speaking to one of my financial advisors. Okay. And he told me that your average person living check to check yes. can travel four times a year, respectively. Without breaking the bank, I'm not talking about going to Dubai and then going to <laughs> Australia, <laughs> and China, <laughs> but going you, to Paris, you, yeah. yeah. And what it is is you plan your trips out and you spread them out quarterly. So uh, that's four trips a year. Uh, but the quarter before each trip, you start paying on it. So uh, let's say you should start in January. Mm -hmm. First paycheck in January, I'm, I'm purchasing my my plane ticket there. Second paycheck in January, I'm purchasing my ticket back. First paycheck in February, I'm purchasing my hotel. Second paycheck in February, I'm purchasing my rental car. Then in March, those two paychecks, I can set aside money for spending and whatever else. And then in April, I go on my trip. Nice, nice. But why people don't do that, can't do that normally, is because they wait till March to pay for everything. And everything's more expensive. Yeah. Like I was, uh, one, of, uh, one of my friends that wanted to come to Vegas was looking at the tickets last week. <laughs> Last week, five hundred some dollars wow. one way. <laughs> wow! My ticket to two Vegas was one ten. One ten. My ticket back was one twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, man, man! We need to do like a, a financial show here on His Hot Radio. I, I, a lot of people need to hear this because finances is a part of our life. Oh yeah, how we manage it and how we can do things. We have the freedom to go places and not have it be stressful or taxing on our income mm -hmm. you know i like that i bet you the rooms everybody paid for over the weekend those same rooms are probably a hundred dollars or something you know what i mean they probably paid four or five hundred dollars to get in those rooms 59 <laughs> we paid 59 a night yep. <laughs> you know I mean? shout out to the d hotel and casino <laughs> For real. And yeah, maybe if we plug them, they'll give us ours next year for free. <laughs> and you know what? We have a... I'm not going to promote them, but we have a hotel, <laughs> like three hotel streams right up the street from mm -hmm. His Hot Radio. And Rob Dean, shout out to my brother. He came, he booked his his uh, his room and all that before he came out. It was within walking distance, man. He said... He had an awesome time, and he was able to get to the venue, and he didn't have to pay resort fees. Oh, See, people yeah. don't realize when they go up on the strip, there's some oh, yeah. hidden costs, like resort. What's a resort fee? You know what it's, I mean? It's to be able to use the internet, water. <laughs> oh, you ready? Valet yeah. sometimes. Valet um, sometimes. Yeah, in order to stay in a hotel, <laughs> what you would normally be paying for. What you normally have. Right. Well, you even, even, home, even, you know? even with the resort fee, by doing your homework, we still came out better. Because, like I said, we, we paid $59 a night. Yeah. The, our resort fee was only 20 But that included free valet and free parking. A lot of the hotels, you got to pay $20 a night parking. Oh, wow. So, so you're paying your room rate, your 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 resort fee, and, and parking. And you know that? That's new. We're getting over. Isn't that new, Super J? I don't think they had to, we had to pay for parking out here before. Well, it depends on the hotel. Well, most of the casinos, though, they have they yeah, have. Every hotel has a casino, man. I mean the airport. I mean, my, my, oh, this, you're talking about the airport? No, okay, no, no, no. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even the airport. Like this is my third time, in, third year in a row coming to Vegas. Yeah. And I remember my first time two years ago for the first dollars they had out here. I was so excited. I came. I was like, man, I'm going to Vegas. Never been to Vegas. Hmm. 
Come down, get on, we land, get off my little Southwest airplane, start walking down. First thing that I see, not a person. Uh huh. A slot machine. Slot machine. <laughs> right. That's how right. it was when I came. That's how it was my first and time. And not just Vegas. one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a whole bunch of. Like, them. give me that money. Then you go in the bathroom and they got slot machines on the back of stalls. <laughs> <laughs> Digital, like. <laughs> Like, oh, really? I didn't see that yet. Wow, that must be a new. They snuck that in on us. <laughs> All right, at this time, I want to go ahead and open up our phone lines. If you would like to call in, you want to talk to my brothers Malik and James Dubai. They are in the studio right now. Or if you have a question for me or Super J, we are here live, ready for you. We go live every Monday night, 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time here on His Hot Radio. And that number is 702-879-4082, 702-879-4082. And hopefully we'll get a word from the Reverend, Reverend Rufus with the Golden Two Fists, <laughs> 702-879-4082. And while we're doing that, back to social media. I'm just loving uh, Instagram tonight. We're getting a lot of love on Instagram. Hmm. Rob Redeem responded back to Super J. Uh, when she mentioned that he looked like um, Rakim, Rakim. Mm -hmm. he's saying first time hearing that one he's laughing ha 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 <laughs> I gotta stop mean mugging <laughs> 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 well that comes with hip hop man I don't know that's just part of the territory uh, Theo the thespian is on here what's Theo up the Theo thespian. he said what's up Super J Sam Bam 702 879 is the number <clears throat> Did I say it wrong? No. He's like laughing at me. 702-879-4082. What's up, <laughs> Brother The Super J said that you were due to be in the studio tonight, so next time we're going to come kidnap you. Wow. Tell him, tell you him my feelings here. are really hurt. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> I have to say, man, this um, this past weekend was, was non-stop. And that's oh how Stellar's God. is. You know, Stellar's is like our Super Bowl. <laughs> we do have a Sunday night Bible study. And I was so wore out. I came. I'm um, shout out to my brother Randy Awu with the Spartans. He came in and um, he did the service for us. And I was laid out in the the green room <laughs> during the whole service. My brother Maurice came and woke me up. I didn't know where I was. I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? And I heard music playing. I'm like, you know, trying to get everything going. And then next thing you know, here comes Theo walking up. <laughs> like, am I seeing a vision? Who's that? Who's this? And Theo was in the house. What's up, brother? Theo the thespian. <laughs> Theo came out and had to uh, show a brother love. So, all right, y'all. Call in. While we're calling in, we're going to go back to my brother James Dubai in the house. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So, James, you are... An up and coming artist for the Lord, man. Shout out. You're not a Christian on a Christian label, but you're in a secular label. But you're Christian. <laughs> <laughs> on a secular label. He's just oh, no. on a label. On I'm a messing. label. It's I'm a messing. label. I'm it's messing. treble. It's, 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 it's they are treble makers. <laughs> it's all good. I was just joking. Yeah, yeah. Secular yeah. Label. But he's not only an artist. He's a producer. He's, a produ he's also an executive. And he's an executive. Look at oh, that. Right, well, let's get your credentials, man. Tell us what you do for the label, brother. Uh, so basically, my cousin's CEO. I'm the uh, vice president of the label. Um, basically, what I pretty much do, um, I, I search for talent. You know, uh, any oh, wow. okay. up and coming artists or whatever, make sure, you know, they're up to par with the uh, high standard nice. set for the label and then I pass it on to him we talk about it you know, uh -huh. if we want to work with them or uh, pretty much anything uh, whether we do beats or because we also uh, have photography we do a lot we just oh wow we, uh, I'm a jack of all trades as they say man you know what I think um, we're going to have to lose y'all plane tickets you know? <laughs> y'all going to be uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hired to the His Hot yeah. label <laughs> that's cool though mm -hmm. so but did, who said he's not an artist you said you're not an artist you said he's not an artist not just an artist I was about to say then what were we just listening to <laughs> <laughs> okay. well how, how when did you first know that you could rap and write um how old were you I was what I was like 16, maybe 17. So this is, you're fairly new. What, I, what it was was, wow. to be completely honest, he used to, I used to take him on the road with me. Uh -huh. Back when, I started back when he was like a sophomore in high school. Yeah, like 13, when he was 14. Like 13, 14 years old. Like and I, I had to bring him for two reasons. To be my hype man. Mm -hmm. 
and to keep me in line. Okay. Nice. Because I was I'm saying we ain't perfect out here. Right. But right. I know one thing. If I have a minor with me, right, right. there are certain places where I ain't going. Ain't going. <laughs> there's some things I ain't doing. I like that. Hey, that's wisdom. That's Great. wisdom, man. You know what I'm saying? That's wisdom. The you know Bible says to be wise. So. And then uh, I can't just leave him in the room and go because if if I'm ever letting Uncle Ron call, I'm like, where's RJ? A.K.A. James Dubai. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Oh wow! Okay. So, so that's so he's been, he's been on the was... he's been on the stage <laughs> um, performing with me for years, oh. and then one day, you know how you you hearing them doing your your, your words and your lyrics and song. You're like, that's uh-huh. like okay. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! How about this? Okay, we can put this new beat on it. Now you do something. Uh-huh. And then it's like it's like okay. <laughs> Oh, mm. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Oh wow! So when okay. did you get inspired to have him as an executive on your label? That's well, when, at nineteen, he he basically lives at my house. My mom keeps saying that she's gonna charge him rent. Yeah. <laughs> so get put him to work, right? Yeah. So the studio's in the house. He's always there, always uh-huh. in the studio, always working. And then so one day, when when, when I decided I was going to start the new label, I was talking with him about it. And my thing, one, one thing that I like to do is, as I work with youth, I like to empower youth. So, mm-hmm. amen. Why, why not have him be? I mean, at, at nineteen, I was an executive myself. Mm-hmm. So why can't he be one? Right. Preach. I know that's mm-hmm. right. Amen. That's awesome. Amen. Okay. At this time, let us get your your contact information, your social media. We'll start with James Dubai. Oh, start with me. Since, yeah, yeah. He's a. Uh, all right. He's 19, so you should have all types of social media. Yep, everything. <laughs> um, a millennial. <laughs> He's a millennial. <laughs> so uh, Twitter and Instagram, it's at James Dubai Music. That's uh, Twitter and Instagram, at James Dubai Music. I'm Spell it. James, J-A-M-E-S, Dubai, like the place, D-U-B-A-I, Music, M-U-S-I-C. James Dubai Music, all one word. And uh, I'm on Facebook. I have a, a artist page on Facebook. It's James Dubai. And uh, what else? What else is there? Snapchat. Yeah, that's it. I mean, hey, that's the only thing that's different. So Snapchat. You can follow me on Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat. I'll uh, add you back. R Jizzle Music. R J I Z Z L E Music. Like it, regular music. Yeah. How can they download your music? Like, are you on iTunes? Yes, or? I'm on iTunes. Google Play. What else am I on? Everywhere. Everywhere. Spotify. Spotify. So it's James Dubai when they're looking you up. Yes, James Dubai. What's your uh, YouTube page? Uh, James you, Dubai. James Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> okay. James That's what you're Dubai. supposed to be making yep. it simple. Make and it simple. And his new project right now is James Dubai, Currency of the Outcast. You want to show that to the camera? Show it to the camera. There no, you go. You so gotta get it closer. It. You gotta get closer. Close. Yeah. There you look, go. Look, look, look. They know how to. Come on. There you go. Now, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, you, oh, we can even read the credits uh-huh. in the back. Oh yeah, see yeah. right there. It says, Man, who, executive producer Malik. Trying to get it, get the project going. So, said, how did you? Uh, actually, uh, that's that's impressive, man. Who pressed your uh, CDs up like that? Who did the uh, pressing? It was S and J CD out of um, uh, Florida. Florida. Oh really? So you. Was it with your label, or this was someone you hired to do it? Yeah, we hired. Um, we we did all the artwork ourselves. Okay, okay, oh, wow. yep. that's light. I mean, that's tight. I mean, they got that. That is what you would buy in a record store. The Bam. record store. In the record store. If you want to buy a Sam Cooke album, <laughs> where would you go? <laughs> record <The> store. Record <laughs> store. <laughs> All right, so Malik, give us your uh, contact information. My and, contact and, information, uh, Malik Music everywhere. M L I K Music, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, MySpace. Um, what? <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> hey, I used to be on there too. <laughs> yeah. MySpace. Yeah, I got MySpace. But, is it yeah. still does? Yeah, okay, MySpace good. is actually Justin Bieber. I'm um, not Justin Bieber. Uh, like Justin Timberlake. Purchased it and it's, he's trying to re- revamp it for music. Oh, mm-hmm. trying to revamp it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, was that anything but else? Every, anywhere you look, you can find me. Malik Music. Malik yep, Music. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Well, I guess Reverend Rufus ain't going to call. Is he still he on said, your. Uh, he, this was a little earlier. He was like, uh, I got, because I mentioned that he's probably up yeah. all night. Yeah. And he said, I got jet lag, but I'm sleepy <laughs> like a bag. So, he might have fell off. I think, yeah, Reverend Rufus fell asleep. He, uh, 
Where's it at? Where's it at? Right, there's the snore. There's the snore. Shanae, right, that's not it. me. <laughs> <laughs> Shanae is giving her own Z's right now. She's asleep, too. Mm-hmm. All right. She already said night-night. <laughs> that was a little earlier. Shout out to the East Coast. We know it's late, East but if you're rocking with us, Maryland, DMV, we out Come here. On. Philly. Come on. Philly, Florida, South Carolina, South Carolina, yeah. North Carolina. Carolina. Tennessee, there we go. North Carolina, North Carolina. They got family there. Massachusetts, they oh, yeah, Boston. The- an extra day in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Stellar weekend. The extra apple. day. The big we apple. Might not even go to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if we do, we might miss that plane. Yeah. <laughs> you right. Oh, my goodness. What time does your flight leave? Uh, like the six, crack seven, of dawn. Yeah. When with, the rooster with, crows. The rooster crows. <laughs> I think huh? we take off with the sun. <laughs> <laughs> with the sun. Yep. Oh, sweet, okay. sweet. Well, yeah, if you don't mind, right. real quick, shout out to the whole Troublemakers Inc. James Dubai, Malik, yeah. Van Acre, Sonata, um, Canvas, Noel LeVay, everybody, 3HP, we in the building, let's go. Come on, in the <laughs> building, y'all. And now they know about the, the whole His Out connection. Oh, yes. We family now. Oh, Whenever yes. you come to Vegas, this is home. Oh, yeah. Exactly. As a matter of fact, man, we got to uh, do a show with your label, man. Appreciate we're, it. We're, we're going to try to have everybody come out next year. Yeah. Okay, Woo-hoo. come on. And That's we're going to blaze the stage, too. Do you rap come also? Come on. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, how come you ain't uh, bringing you give us music, a bar? It's, a, it's about James Dubai right okay, now. You know right. What I'm saying? Well, well he gave us a bunch of bars. Can you Sharing is caring. Sharing, Sharing is caring. Is caring. Yes. I love Remember you, that when your royalty is going to your whoa, paycheck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said your royalty. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we want to get in on that, too. Yeah. <laughs> so come care for us a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. Care for me. Mm-hmm. Well, the phone Show line has been up. <laughs> Show mo <more> love. <laughs> the phone line has been up. Uh, let's go to social media real quick. We got one more song we're going to play, and then we're going to wrap up the show. Uh, now's the time to call in if you want to call in and show some love. I know that you're, you're uh, giving us comments, but we can't uh-huh. read them all. So if you want to come and verbally say what you what you want to say to my peeps, now's the time. So Robert Deem is back on Instagram. Now Instagram and, and, and Facebook are tied tonight. They're doing oh, good. They're tied. Okay. They're doing good tonight. It says I ain't bro. I'm with Red Rufus. I'm out. Much love. <laughs> okay, night so, night. Yeah, Much on love. the East Coast. All right, Robert Deem. Thanks for holding in. Now Theo, I know you still up. You right here in the Feels city. in the bed. <laughs> you right here. All right, Robert Dean, thanks for showing the love. And, Rob, we're going to have you on our next show. Woo-woo, next so, week. So we're going to talk about you and the connection with uh, Rakim. Rakim, <laughs> not Rakim. 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 I know, right? Rakim. Rakim said, the dream. No, he's Rakim because he's Rob Redeem and Rakim put together. Okay. So okay. there's a whole connection. Rob okay. Rakim. Yeah, you okay, got to so keep Rakeem. up. You got to, you know, I, I, I zone out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Sam moment. The his hot moment now. I kind of okay. like Rakim. <laughs> <laughs> We done, look, brother, we done changed your name. Look, he's sleeping now. He probably, <laughs> when you watch this later, we done changed your name. Uh-oh, somebody's Uh-oh. calling me. Who's that? Uh-huh. Who that is? I thought that was my phone. I was about to be yeah, like, hello. I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, no. Hello, you are rocking with His Hot Radio. Who are we speaking to tonight? Hello? Hello. Oh, oh they hung up. Yeah, lost them. Maybe know. they got to go in and call again. All right, call back. You got a few minutes to call back. While we are waiting for the caller to call back, uh, Mr. Dubai, we the next track we have is called How Do You? And I want you to tell us about it and How tell us you? who you got featured on it and all that stuff. Okay. Um, well, I'll start with the feature. Um, her name's Cammie. Um, she uh, actually graduated uh, with me at my high school. Oh wow! Another millennial. Yeah, another <laughs> one. <laughs> but um, are, we're surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, basically, I was talking to uh, one of my friends, um, and she sings. So I was like, okay, you know, I got this beat. All right, you know, I did my uh, my verse, you know, but it's missing something. What is it missing? And she's like, my voice, and I was like, <laughs> true. <laughs> so nice. Uh, long story short, she came through the studio uh, a couple times. You know, recorded, laid down her verse uh-huh. uh, in the hook, and the single was out. And I was like, "Wow, that's my first single. My first single ever 
Really? This yeah. is your first single? Yes, oh, my wow. first single Not even ever. just that, because he ain't uh-huh. it. He's singing on the song. Oh, oh you singing too? Oh, no. <laughs> like, he, he still raps on it. He raps like 8, 16 bars or whatever, but yeah. he's singing on it. He's singing on it too? Yeah, had it, had it, you know, throw a little spice in it at first, you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you got a, uh, who's that? That's Theo calling, huh? No, uh, I, don't oh. know. I don't know. Okay, so so yeah. you, so you uh, you're also a vocalist, huh? Just a little bit, little okay, bit. Okay, sing cool. a little bit. You no, know. man, I think it's awesome, man, that you're giving all that to the Lord, man. Yeah, you know, we need to get more millennials in that direction and say, hey, God can give you your future. God says that my plans are to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. Amen. And a lot of kids think that they got to walk away from God to live a fulfilled life, mm-hmm. but. That is not true. You know what I mean? Truth. All right, so here is James Dubai live on His Hot Radio with the last song of the night. It is called How Do You? How Do You Believe? thumbs up. Yeah, that was really nice. James, tell us a little bit more about that song. You said that there was something that you wanted to share. Oh, so yeah. tell us a little bit more. Um, so, before the song, I was talking about the feature, and uh, now I'm going to actually talk about the song. So, basically, how do you, um, like I said in the song, how do you believe in something you can't see? Because mm-hmm. I feel like millennials, as you <laughs> so mm-hmm. perfectly uh, put, <laughs> uh, we, we have trouble with I guess 
conforming and, and submitting authority to a, a figure that we can't see. So it's like, oh, I see this chair, you know, it, I saw somebody sit in that chair so I know it's sturdy so I can sit in it. But, but God is telling me to do something, but I can't see him. So it's hard to put our faith and put our, our hopes and dreams and aspirations all into one being who, who we can't see. All we have is the Bible. So it's like, it's addressing, it's like a question to, you know, adults and church people. It's like a cry for help almost. How do you believe in something you can't see? This is what we're struggling with. So it's a question. Because, because most, I'm not gonna say most, some adults feel as if, you know, because we're young, we don't go through struggles. We still go through struggles, but it's different. We, we, be, we, we have trouble, I guess, conforming to authority. So God is our king, our savior, you know? So it's like, man, you know, he, 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 he died on the cross for my sins. You know, he loves me unconditionally. He, he's he's uh, going before the father on my behalf. Why? For me? Why? Yes. Amen. I mean, why can't I even see him, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's like, almost like, I guess, I don't know. It's just a question. And, I, and the currency, the outcast, is kind of like an answer to it. So mm -hmm. it, it's just one big project, one big circle, you know? Yeah. And hopefully, uh, I might give you a sneak peek on the next project. Oh, shucks, sneak oh. peeks. <laughs> don't hey. quote me on it. Hey, my, uh, no. hey you can always, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can always uh, call up his hot radio when you're all ready to, to drop right, something new. On. Definitely. You know Thank what you. I mean? Mm-hmm. But that's deep. I like what you said, man. How... So the actual track is called How Do You Believe? And my system is just it was said, how, how do you? How do you? How do you? But I just said, how do you believe? It's just oh, like. Oh, you're just bringing it all the yeah, way out. Bring okay. it all the way out. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. We uh we got a lot of love tonight on social media. Great show. We really appreciate you guys for coming in. And like I said, uh, make this your home away from home. Now you got a spot to come when you come yeah, to Vegas. Definitely. definitely. You ain't got to mess around in them casinos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta mess only, the, only, only get to the valet. Only get to the valet. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Can hang out I with can't spell people. casinos. <laughs> <laughs> I want a K. I want a K. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I said with a K. <laughs> I don't know what about, those are. How about broke with the B? <laughs> <laughs> no, how about no, never again? <laughs> no, Amen. Never Amen. Again. No, like, you yeah. know, like, that's funny how you say that. That's something else that my, my, the, my, the same guy who was telling me about the traveling. Uh -huh. We as we as a people, we we use the word broke too freely. Yeah. Okay. We don't realize the Bible. The Bible talks about how we can speak things of our life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just because yes. you have no one, like I, he know. Come on. Watch this. Watch this. I'm not broke. What? Oh. I'm not broke. What? You're waiting for your next check. You're not broke. You wait I like that. I like check. that. Hey, Carla, you're alive on His Hot Radio. Who are we speaking to today? We have to turn down the radio. Carla, can you hear me? They probably have to hear. I'm right, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Reverend Rufus with the t t t too fast. Get the Hey, Rev Rufus. The Rev is in the building, huh? Oh, we in the building, man. I'm back in St. Louis, man. Uh, they tried to leave me in Vegas, though, man. They left me in a hotel. I was trying to get some sleep. Larry Rogers left me up in there, man. I got to the airport. The plane was leaving. I, but I, I just ran, and I, I pulled out the, the, the lever, and I just got in there where they put the puppies in the poodles. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you and, uh, man, I think I saved Bubba the monkeys down there with me. <laughs> Bubbles was out here, huh? He said he, he, he got a show in Vegas. He <laughs> 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 said, you know, things ain't been the same since Mike, since Mike left him. I said, so I, I start singing to him, you are not alone. Sing. <laughs> Worship. Come you. on. I'm here with you. <laughs> you are so far away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, vocals. We're going to have to get him on the next track. <laughs> you hear that rap, man? They're going to sign you up, man. They're going to get you on the next track. Troublemaker. Oh, troublemakers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I, 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 I Tell them I got soap bars. Oh. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> then you got some soap bars. Right? Soap, <laughs> soap bars. No candy. <laughs> I like it. Oh, so Reverend Rufus, man, real quick, just give us a word of wisdom before we shut down the show tonight. What What, what do you got for us? Well, I will encourage the young fella. I was checking him out. He seemed to be pretty mature for his age. Thank I would say, young man, it. just keep God first, and everything else come after that. And shake him off like, like a boss. boss. <laughs> like a boss. Like it. Like a boss. I like it. Thank Red, you. Appreciate it, sir. Red Rufus, man, he was in the house, man. He came, uh... To it. He was every he was night. A couple nights. No, yeah. he came to every, every showcase. Night. That's yeah, true. he was. Uh, he, he came. He was in the house, man, and and uh, they brought him up on stage, and he kind of took over the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then one lady said she was dreaming about you. Am I right, Mister Rufus? Yeah, man. I told her pizza don't punch you in the eye. <laughs> in the eyeball. <laughs> Not in the eye. Out. In the eye. She was going to have cats to the rack. <laughs> cats to the rack. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Well, thank you, brother, for calling in. This is my boy Malik and also James Dubai. James yes, Dubai. Kicking it here on His Hot Radio. Give us a final comment, my brothers, before we close out. Well, Happy man, you concert. know how I feel about His Hot Radio. D Road is super J A A. Y'all in the play A A. And y'all in Sin City. But I cut the sin out the city. <laughs> now it's Sin City. Yes, sir. But, uh, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, young man. Where y'all from again, ATL? Nah. DMV Maryland. DMV Maryland. DC area. Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm going to DMV. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I went, hey, I went down to uh, DC one time and, I, and, I, and man, they had the Ram doing the, uh, the go go. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Is that a the dance? Go- the gospel go go out there, brother. I had to show my go go when they told me to do the go go. I told you to go go. So you had to go go. Yeah, man. That's just. Okay, you know, they was off the chatty down there, man. I had a great time, man. I had a great time. Come so, back and look us up. Come day, back and look us up. One day, they're going to get the wrap down to the DMV one day, and I'm going to go down there and shake them off like a ball. Yeah, all hey, right. Shake them. Shake them. All right, Brother Malik, final comment, brother. Hey, we appreciate being out here. This, this is much love out here with y'all. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be back. We're going to do much of things with y'all, and we're going to... Keep shaking it off like a boss. Keep shaking it off. Hey, I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, James Dubai, final comment. Man, appreciate y'all having me on the show. Appreciate y'all uh, listening to my music, uh, checking me out, showing me much love. Uh, shout out to all the His Hop Radio followers. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to be back here most definitely. I don't know if I'm going to be back this year, but definitely next year for the Stellars. We're going to link up. Come on. Y- y'all family now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's what we're talking about. Super J, give us a final comment. So, all I have to say is it's been a fantastic week. All of the artists that we have met and with Malik and James Dubai closing out this week, this has been fabulous. You guys really, really made it a great week for me. So, oh, thank you're you so, so much. Nice. <laughs> and yes, we family now. I got to come to the DMV. Yo, come, back. Uh, come back. Come back to the DMV. Right? Just for a while. I'm to the DMV too so he can find me. I want him to put my A-track out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Hey, you bring the A-track back. Bring it back. A-track. <laughs> And the Gary Curl. Ready for the warehouse. See, and that's the truth, you know. <laughs> Reverend Rufus, let me tell you something. Reverend Rufus gave us some words of wisdom. He uh, he gave us not only words of wisdom, but he told us that we got to love me now. Mm-hmm. Love me now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get the snap going. Right. Get the snap right. going. Uh, <laughs> hey. Come on, Reverend. You got to sing, Reverend. They asked you to sing your song. That's because that's 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 God is love. So that's why the Ram wants you to love everybody. 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 Love everybody. 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 Not somebody. Everybody. Every single body. Everybody. 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 All right, then. <laughs> and that is what we're going to do. And now we're going to go ahead and sign off. This is your boy D Road with the His Hop Nation. We want to remind you to download the His Hop Radio app. That's His Hop Radio. We're on every device, Android, Android. iPhone, iPhone, um, tablets, whatever you got. (laughs) And also, if you're in Vegas or coming to Vegas, 
we do have a Sunday night Bible study. Every Sunday night, 6 p.m., we're going through the Word of God, book by book, verse by verse. It starts at 6 p.m. sharp. So get in the house about 5.30 so we can fellowship and kick it and just love on you in Jesus' name. And also go to our website, hishopnation.com. Leave us your email address, your email contact list. We have a, a blog we're going to get back up and going. Super J is going to be the host of it. Woo-hoo. Also, our newsletter, so you can stay up on what we're doing, upcoming events, and read about our past events. And we're going to get one out uh, concerning the Stellar Weekend. I tell you, man, this weekend was on fire. Uh, I was blessed. I was able to go to the Stellars. I was able to host an after party. Uh, showcases. I mean, this place was non-stop. Non-stop. And we were able to, I agree with Super J, we were able to close out with my brother Malik and James Dubai. I appreciate the fact that they were able to stay an extra day. That way we could take a breather and just kind of give them the attention, you know what I'm saying, that we want to give them. So, Thank you guys for being for being wise <laughs> with your finding your resources, you know, planning your trip out probably. And uh, Reverend Rufus, man, say good night to the people. Good night. I'm on my way to find a study, so I'm getting my roller skates right now. I don't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> so you going roller skate all the way from St. Louis? All the way. <laughs> all the way. All the way. I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray. And slide. Right. And slide. Because he got Jerry Curl uh, activated. <laughs> Put your activator out there. Yeah, man. I love y'all, man. D Roll, Super J, uh, Malik, and all y'all, man. Uh, D Roll, you did a great job, man. Club is hot. It's, it's blowing up like nitro glisten. So you just keep doing what you're doing, brother. You, they, they, know, they know about you now. They know. They see what you're doing. Yeah, you worldwide, man. I've been on. Instagram. I went on put some money on my book. I mean Facebook. And, uh, I, I, I saw your picture everywhere, man. You worldwide. Boy, you worldwide. Well, you know what? So, I man, see. y'all stay in touch with the Rev now. Hit me up. Y'all go on my cousin page, Larry Rogers. R O D G E R S. D for deliverance. Go on there and check out the Rev and see what I'm doing. I'm on yeah, Larry on Facebook and Instagram, but I'm on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. We appreciate it. Thank you for the encouraging words. And always, we give all glory to God. Amen. We were not able to do it if it wasn't for him. We're just trying to follow the written plan that he's got for our lives. So, so that's the key, man. Find the plan. Find the calling. Find out what God has called you to do. You're on earth, this earth for a purpose. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And I want everyone to remember it's not about us. It's all about the Christ that's in us. And, man, y'all, y'all got to see these chess games going down, man. It's pretty hilarious. You know? <laughs> the pieces are going way too close to go. Chess. <laughs> see y'all next week, man. Cards. We love y'all. <laughs> what did you say?